welcome to Cricket Next YouTube channel. I am Soumya Kapoor, and here we are gearing up for one of the most important events of the year, and that is IPL auctions. The teams have already released the list of the retained and the released players, and it would be interesting to see how do they fill up the remaining slots in the upcoming mini auctions. Here we will talk about the Punjab Kings who have already made a big move after they released Mayank Agarwal and roped in Shikhar Dhawan as the skipper. We have our correspondent Sail Malhotra with us to talk more about it. Welcome, Sail. Thank you, Soumya. Exciting couple of days ahead. Yeah, of course. Uh, what do you make of this first move, uh, which the Punjab franchise has made? They they just released Mayank Agarwal and roped in someone like a Shikhar Dhawan. Yeah, I think uh, uh, intent all all along this move because Mayank at top of the order wasn't really firing for them in the last season. He shuffled and he tried going in the middle order too, but then then that really kind of put. And Shikhar Dhawan and Johnny Bairstow at top of the order makes a lot. Leader, you know, marshalling the troops, which we would want to see now. He has been a very aggressive captain in the domestic setup as well, and uh, letting go of Mayank is kind of just letting go go of all with came along with it. May it be in the batting or may it be in the captaincy, uh, because uh, they needed a change. And it's not that they they haven't changed. They have been strong in the last 14, 15 editions now. Um, they are probably one team which has not failed to change every season. So uh, the change continues for for Punjab Kings. And this time around, they would hope that this change works for. Uh, what do you make of the retained squad? You have Shikhar Dhawan, then you have Johnny Bairstow, Prabh Simran, Bhanuga Rajpaksa, Jitesh Sharma, who showed a lot of intent last year. Raj Bawa, he's, he's a talented guy. He didn't get, get enough chances, but he's a talented guy. We've seen this in under-19 as well. Shah Rukh Khan, who is an aggressive hitter. What do you make of the squad uh, that they have? I think it's a it's a very well balanced squad from the first look. If you want to make an eleven out of it, you can very well do that. But uh, at the auction, I think it will be it will be more about filling in the gaps which we can see right now. So Shikhar is going to open for you. Then you have someone like a Banuka Rajapaksa who did really well in patches last season around. He can be your handy player at number three in the middle order. You have someone like a Liam Livingston who can also do the job with the ball. Then lower down the order, you can chip in with your all-rounders and your wicketkeeper in Jitesh Sharma, Raj Bawa, Rishi Dhawan. And in bowling, you have someone like a Harpreet Brar, you have the wrist spin of Rahul Chair, the pace of Kagiso Rabada, and the accuracy of Arshdeep Singh. So it's it's a, it's a very balanced squad. And I think uh, Punjab need to make a mess of the auction to kind of not do well in the upcoming IPL because the squad looks good. They are high on par. They are high on fire par. They have accuracy in bowling. They have speed in bowling, and they have variety in spin. I think um, that's that's what is important for every side going into this tournament. That you need to cover all bases. IPL 2022, the mega auctions was it was a chance for the teams to kind of press that reset button. And now that they have, and Punjab again messed it up there. I think it's a good chance for them to course correct. Most of the teams are looking to course correct at the mini auctions. Punjab Kings are no different. Sunrisers Hyderabad are no different. So this should give them an opportunity to kind of do something which hasn't worked for them in the last 14 seasons. Try newer things. Include players who can, you know, kind of um, give you that balance and backups for the players who are already there. So you uh, Johnny Bairstow getting injured and not having a backup for the same. Similarly for Banuka Rajapaksa or a Liam Livingston. You know, just just factor in everything. Factor in the conditions. It's, it's, it's going to be a home and away format. Factor in your home conditions at Mohali. Take a look at the potential conditions where are you where you are going to play. And you know, just put together a squad which covers all the bases and conditions. And talking about taking all the boxes, they have taken a very major box, and that is having a purse, having a huge purse that uh, they can go, they can press all the button and just fire all the cylinders. And they do need yeah. an all-rounder in the middle, right? And for that, you have Ben Stokes, Cameron Green, and someone like a Sam Curran who has also played earlier for them. Can can they go big yeah. on them? On one of them, at least? I think they should and they must because um, having experience in your middle order gives you a lot of depth in the batting and you know allows you to seize control of the game during crucial situations. Something which we found which was missing 
for uh, sunrises uh, sorry punjab kings last time around shikhar dhawan johnny bairstow you know these guys were giving them the starts but in the middle overs when then they should have kind of seized in and you know capitalized on the situation that rarely happened and you just can't expect a liam livingston or jitesh uh, lower down the order to do the job by themselves you know sharukh khan sharukh khan's um, returns have been underwhelming with the bat in the ipl so far so they they desperately need someone in the middle order with the right amount of experience with the right amount of spark and you know to do something which you know someone like a maxwell did for royal challengers bangalore and ben stokes sam curran cameron green all three of them fit the bill curran sways more towards the bowling side so i'm not sh- not sure about curran and uh, kings eleven punjab whether that's a good match for now but i think ben stokes and cameron green both of them give them the batting edge both can bat at 3 and 4 i would want them to bat at 3 because at 4 against indian spinners on low and slow surfaces i think you're wasting them at 4 so get them in at 3 3 or 3 you know then you have a toss up between rajapaksa or one of the all rounders you pick but then you look at the conditions wherever you need to play an extra bowler just go in with ben stokes or a cameron green and a person person excess of 30 crores allow them allows them to go big on one player because the squad size isn't a problem for them they can always go for the uncapped indians and you know do the cheap shopping to make up the numbers but they have the luxury of going big on either a ben stokes or a cameron green and i have a slight um, hunch about it and anil kumble also today at uh, 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 spoke about you know uh, kings and punjab potentially going for um, cameron green yes he's not there in the official capacity anymore but i'm sure he does know a thing or two about how the franchise operates uh, uh, operates in the middle and cameron green has been very very good in the indian conditions also and he's been performing he has performed really well uh, so yeah. that that does make a lot of sense of picking him up and he he will give that uh, balance to the middle order at least if he doesn't play at 3 no. or 4 he can play at 5 you know uh, and also just, just not just not the middle order green also opens up a different option they can even try in green if a bairstow you know goes out of form or is injured green and dhawan opening you know that's going to be some sort of opening to counter with because you have a shikhar dhawan who who can kind of bat long and bat deep and then you have a cameron green who can just you know go all out in the power play overs So yeah, uh, exciting times ahead for Punjab Kings. They have the money, they have the slots, and I think it's just about putting in the right pieces together because they really can't afford to make a mess of another auction because season and season again, um, they are one side which uh, you know looks good on paper on certain occasions, but then the whole just doesn't come together. So I think now they should look at you know getting that whole team spirit in place. and the entire unit must stick together gel together and you know fire in unison and with a lot of money in the bank right now do you think they will focus on future as well and get get an uncapped indian bowler like make the bowling uh, unit more powerful and have a good bench strength at least for the for the next couple of weeks maybe i think that's a very important uh, point and could well be our closing remark to that you know they certainly lead indian fast bowlers having released the likes of ever varoda and ishan porel before the auction ishan porel has done really well on ranji trophy return ever varoda continues to impress for himachal pradesh so you might as well see you know them going shopping for uncapped uh, domestic indian fast bowlers probably not spending much there but just keeping them interested so that you know bowlers like them could be groomed for future baltej singh is already there a very exciting bowler from punjab so yeah they definitely will go big on you know uncapped indian bowlers cheap buys but smart buys and lastly what do you uh, make of shikhar dhawan being appointed as a captain how much confidence will this give to him because he's recently led india as well and how important it yeah. is for him uh, as far as own form is concerned you know yeah. because we will have a world cup uh, after that we will obviously the format is different but you know being among yeah. runs does give you a lot of confidence so how it how important this this season of ipl will be for him as a batsman i think every season and you know shikhar dhawan is one player who has put his hand up at every you know ipl he continues to score runs in the ipl strike rate is being questioned here and there but you know there there's no there's no substitute for class and his class has been permanent he has done the job for donkey years for the indian team i think he's that one specialist who continues to deliver in icc tournaments so you want to keep him in a good space ahead of a big tournament like the 50 over world cup next year 
and come IPL, I think he'll be in a very good space because Punjab Kings have kind of given him a sense of responsibility and um, instilled that, you know, that he's very much wanted in the setup as far as Punjab Kings is concerned. So I think, yes, it's a good move for both Punjab and Shikhar Dhawan getting the captaincy. And the kind of experience he has, even if his strike rate is not that big, he just rotates the strike, be there till the 15th or 16th over with the likes of Johnny Baisto or a Livingstone there, or probably a Stokes or a Cameron Green. That that can you know make up for the loss uh, scoring rate. The others can make it up for it. So that's pretty. It's not pretty that okay. he, it's it's not that he's operating at a strike rate of eighty or ninety. You know the, the the world cricket has kind of gone obsessed with strike rates now, and strike rates in excess of 120, 125 are kind of just run down. So uh, Shikhar isn't a problem at top of the order, and once is once he's in a good mental space, I think he can dominate any opposition on the day. So, well, thank you, Sahil, for your insights uh, on Punjab Kings. We will uh, have you again on board for for some more insights, for some more information. And you guys, stay tuned, follow us, subscribe us, and get all the live updates, not just from the mini auctions, from the cricketing world. Thank you.